Okay, this is semen retention day 228 or 229, I'm not sure. I'll double check and put it on the title. But anyways, this video is about manifesting. Like I have, um, I don't know, I've been kind of manifesting stuff, but check out this story right here. It's not that important, but it's like, a, I don't know. It's crazy. All right, so I'm a truck driver. If you know me, then you know I'm a truck driver. So there's this place that, this gas station where I stay at sometimes, and I know this gas station like the back of my hand because it's like only two hours from where I live. So it's like, I pass through there all the time. So I pretty much know that after 5 p.m., like, there's going to be no parking spots to, you know, stay there and sleep or whatever. So, at 5 o'clock, I'm on my way there. I got, like, an hour and a half left, maybe two hours. And I already know there's, that there's going to be no parking spots. But I'm like, okay, this is where I want to stay at this place. And I thought of this parking spot that I know of there. I thought, okay, I'm going to park in this parking spot and that's where I'm gonna stay the night so sure enough I get there I'm looking around for parking spaces I don't go to the one that I was thinking of right away you know I circle around I look all for all the parking spaces there is zero spark parking spaces so far I start heading to where I thought I was gonna park and sure enough there it is the only parking space in the gas station and it's the one I thought of so yeah thank you also um, well I'm still going strong I think once I hit like 180 days like after I hit six months like pretty much I'm like I got this in the bag you know those first 180 days were I think the the challenge now it's kind of challenging but I've been through like a lot of battles before reaching those um those six months it was a lot of battling now it's like more easy coasting there's a, still a chance for me to break it or whatever but I've been through a lot of the battles already so it should be easy from here on out hopefully hopefully I don't manifest anything negative because I feel like my manifesting powers right now are pretty high um, I said like a week ago that I might not make it till July we still got like four days it's been the longest time or whatever last week was my hardest week in life like it was just awful last week um, and up until the va very last second, it was awful. I mean, there was a lot of good in it, but it was like hard, hard for me. Even Sunday, I went to the beach Sunday and I just came out of there hurting and, you know, I almost drowned and stuff. And it was like pretty awful. Um, I almost drowned just because I don't know how to swim. Not because uh, the ocean is crazy. But yeah, so hopefully this week goes better and I make it to July, you know, in a pretty comfortable thing. Also, I did something crazy and I always tell my mom, like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you know, I'm scared to work, I'm scared to work. But I was like telling her, like, I wanna buy like Raiders tickets, like a football game ticket. And she's like, uh, if you buy those tickets, you better not be saying you're not going to work anymore. Like, you have to commit to working if you buy them. So, I like bought them. They were um, $1,500 a ticket. Um, front row seat at the last Raider game of the season against like Kansas City Chiefs. But the date is still not announced, but I went ahead and bought them. And uh, now I'm like, well, I have no choice. I'm going to, you know, work no matter what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. 
it's a big expense. I put it on my credit card. I'm going to be paying it over time. Hopefully, I can pay it in under a year. Because that card is like a year and three months no interest rate. So, hopefully, I can pay it by then. Um, so, yeah. So, now I'm like, all right. Work. Work. Don't let the negativity stop you from working. And, uh, like I said, we'll see what happens. Thank you.